Good evening, this is Bridget with the New Orleans Baton Rouge National Weather Service Office and this is your weekly weather briefing. Weather-wise, it's actually pretty quiet. Tonight's going to be the last chilly night for a while and then going into the week, it's going to start to warm up. Uh, the next chance of rain would be next Saturday at the earliest. Other than that, the, the only other real things of note is uh, the Mississippi River at Red River Landing is forecasted to uh, reach flood stage later this week. And uh, we have a few uh, announcements from uh, our office. First off, the Audubon Park Co-op Observation Site is now back in service so everyone can take a look at the latest observations. And second, we have some Skywarn Storm Spotter classes scheduled later this month into next month. Here's a quick look at the forecast for the uh, New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Tonight's going to be a tad bit cool, but other than that, it's going to start to get into the 70s and possibly into the 80s later this week. Uh, similarly, in Macomb and Gulfport, Mississippi, tonight's going to be the cool night, and then from there on, the temperatures will start to increase. For anyone who has any interest at uh, the Mississippi River at Red River Landing, we are expecting uh, it to go into flood stage mid to late this week. Additionally, uh, this will probably stay elevated for a while as we're starting to get into the spring flood season. So keep an eye on the latest forecast for that information. Now on to a few quick announcements. First off, our historic Audubon Park observation site is now back in service. The record for this actually goes back into the late 19th century, so that's over 100 years old. Uh, now anyone can go online and check the latest observation. That could be found at the link here. I'll also put it into the video description. Make sure to click on the Audubon Park option on the drop-down menu to take a look at it. Additionally, we do have some upcoming Skywarn Storm Spotter classes coming up later this month into next month. Um, these are free and they're all going to be virtual this year. The link to the registration and more info will be provided in the description below. And um, there's two types of classes. One is the basic and one is the advanced. There's no real uh, requirements for the basic one, just come when you are able. For the advanced one, we do ask that you uh, take a basic class first before you take an advanced one, but otherwise uh, we'd love to see you there. Uh, make sure to register and to get everything ahead of time so everything goes smoothly. And with that, that's all I have. Have a great week everyone. It's going to be nice weather-wise, so go out and try to enjoy it.